끝내? 이제야 날 마주 봐주네. 오랫동안 기다렸다고. 그렇구나. 계속 네 목소리를 들어왔는데 넌 진리의 빛. 동시에 내 안에 나 자신이지? 그래. 드디어 알아차렸구나. 넌 아주 오랫동안 나를 외면해왔지. 하지만 난 언제나 이만한 힘을 갖고도 아무것도 못했다는 게. 그럼 어때? 이제는 날 받아들일 줄... 그래, 다시 한번 행복을 지키기 위해 싸우고 싶어. 그리고 기대하겠어. 그리고 놀라지 마. 난... Hello everybody, welcome back to my video. I'm p a p a l f g a m i n g here and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. So, first of all, Happy Mother's Day. I don't know if any of you are mothers, but Happy Mother's Day regardless. Um, second, you hopefully would have just seen the clip. At the beginning of this episode, sorry if that seemed weird, um, because it's a story that I saw when I entered the game after that video. Um, so I'm, in the last video, in case you didn't see it, I compared that I'm like, oh, Hilo Cookie, there's like this weird crystal that looks like Snow Sugar Cookie's staff. So I'm like, oh, is Hilo Cookie Snow Sugar Cookie? And then in the thumbnail, or title, when I was thinking it over, I'm like, wait a second. What if it's like his hair looks really similar to Hugh Vanilla? What if it's that? And then I entered the game and saw that clip, that storyline, and that was weird. I'm not gonna lie, it was definitely, definitely weird. So apparently, Pure Vanilla Cookie is both Pure Vanilla Cookie and the Light of Truth, which could be that gem. So maybe that was. Um, uh, Hilo Cookie, like, seeing the truth now that she sees the light of- Or he, she, I don't know, sees the light of truth. He slash she gets, like, memories or sees that, um, that he slash she, that's gonna get annoying, I know, but whatever. Um, is Pure Vanilla Cookie, or, or not, maybe that was completely random when they just decide to put it there to completely throw us off. I don't know, but it was very weird, and it's confusing me. That was, like, it was interesting to see. But I don't know, I'm sure we'll get more story now. I do have a theory, though. I'm not sure if it's going to be true, though. I think it would be pretty cool. So I do think Hilo Cookie actually might be Pure Vanilla Cookie. We could be, I could be wrong about that. But I think Hilo Cookie could be. And I think what's going to happen is Hilo Cookie is going to slowly, sort of like White Lily Cookie, he's going to come with us, try to save the Pure Vanilla Kingdom from Strawberry Crepe and Robot Army, who I think have taken over. And then, over the course, she's... She says he's gonna regain her memories, or his memories. Oh, we already lost this fight horribly. What did I do so wrong this time? Well, we definitely have to restart that. That was bad. Um, that didn't go well. Um, and in the process, I have a feeling we, um, she's gonna, she says he is gonna realize that she says she is, um, Pure Vanilla Cookie, and then they're gonna help us and or he if it is pure vanilla cookie it's a he then is gonna help us and they're gonna together we're gonna free the pure vanilla kingdom strop strawberry crepe and army free this village we're gonna get to the um vanilla kingdom and probably have to fight dark enchantress dark enchantress cookie because let's face it there is no way this ending is not gonna involve us fighting dark enchantress cookie it's just not gonna happen even if there's more story planned we're definitely gonna end up fighting dark enchantress it's it's inevitable um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good day, good Mother's Day. Um, hope you did something nice for your mother. We have one. I know some people don't, but if you do, hopefully you did something nice for her. If you are one, then hopefully someone did something nice for you, I guess. I don't know. Um, but just have a good day as well. It's Sunday. It's a pretty nice day. Um, I mean, so sometimes Sunday's like, oh, tomorrow's Monday. But at the same time, you have to realize it's still Sunday. You still have the weekend. It's often quite a relaxing day if you spent other previous days, right? You hopefully don't have the time to do today, so you can relax a little bit more, make a bit more progress. So that went way better. I have no idea how I lost so badly the next one. We might crash now, but I think there's more story because I think we're going up to the next area. So we have to wait. Okay, we have our collection rewards. They're very laggy. One and a half million XP, whatever will I use it for? Okay, here we go. Black Raisin Cookie. We made it past all those Waffle Bots. You lot sure know- You lot sure know how- You lot sure know your way in a fight. Don't know why I couldn't read that. It wasn't too difficult. After all, we all fought together. 
These are the Raisin Cliffs. This is where the sky opens. No, this is our kingdom. I don't know where you think you are, but this is our kingdom. So, this giant shadow we're standing right now is... Wait, what? Is this a glitch because my game crash wrote showing me the wrong background? Because this is not the Raisin Cliffs, I assure you that. Weird. Oh, well, here we go. Now we get to see it. Look! The castle! That looks so evil and ominous from this. Or uh, I'm not seeing things, am I? How is that castle floating in the sky? How can Wizard Cookie summon lightning? It's magic. It's gigantic! That must be the Vanilla Kingdom! It has to be! Could it truly be so? Then let us make haste. It's like, come on, the hair, it's really similar to pure vanilla. Has, like, a bit of darkness. And even the staff kind of looks similar. Plus, blindfold, like, we don't really know the eyes or anything. It's my theory. Hilo Koki, look! The ground is glowing with each step you take. Perhaps this has something to do with the gemstone from earlier. I can also feel my staff getting warmer and warmer. Yeah, because you're getting closer to the pure vanilla kingdom. Pure vanilla cookie. I think I understand now. The gem has unlocked a portal. And look there. Columns of pure light. There's no turning back now. Everyone hold on to each other's hands tightly. So much for the person that's like, I don't trust any of you. I'm going to kill you if you backstab me. Uh, you better watch out. I will realize if you're up to something. No, hold my hands. I'll keep you safe. The moment we've all been waiting for is here. We're ready. I'm not scared. After all, this is magic from the Vanilla Kingdom. I call dibs. Any treasure we find are mine. I can hear the fanfare already. Hold on, Vanilla Kingdom. Your king is coming. Well, actually, Pure Vanilla Cookie's still alive, so you actually the the prince. I I wonder how long it's gonna take for him to get used to that. We'll see. Wait, raisin black raisin cookie. Take this, a lunchbox, just for you. What? We've been saving some jellies every day, but there wasn't enough food to go around to begin with. All of you, thank you. I promise to return peace to our village, and I promise to become a better hero. We will return. Black Raisin Cookie, Hilo Cookie, we'll be waiting for you. Bring back some souvenirs. Time to jump into the portal. Vanilla Kingdom, here we come. Okay, please ask we walk, don't crash again. Ooh, it didn't crash. But this is probably gonna make it crash. Oh no, we don't have to actually go through a portal cool. I was a little nervous that it would be like, yeah, click this portal and you'll be good. Well, here we go. No more portals. We are at the Vanilla Kingdom. What's Chapter 10 gonna be if we're already at the Vanilla Kingdom? Is it gonna be like... The castle? Yeah, it's probably gonna be the castle. I don't want it to be, but it totally will be. Um, well, let's do the next stage. Do, do, do. We'll do as many as I can. I don't know how many that's gonna be. Uh, but what do you know? But yeah, I totally feel Hilo Cookie, Pure Vanilla Cookie. Ooh. We finally made it to the Vanilla Kingdom! Behold! Uh, does that say denizens? No idea what that means. Denizens of the Vanilla Kingdom! I, Custard Cookie, third of this name, a descendant of the king, have come. Sound the fanfare. I can't believe it. The Vanilla Kingdom. This discovery will be remembered in the history of magic as my greatest achievement. Just take a look at the architecture. Layers of wafers carved into intricate care as if they were chocolate. Bricks. Can you imagine walking along the streets here and past? What did I tell you? The Vanilla Kingdom is the grandest of all kingdoms. I told you, didn't I? Didn't I? Well, this kingdom's completely lost, and Pure Vanilla Cookie and all of them are just going to come back to our kingdom. They'll be like, well, we'll make our own Vanilla Kingdom. That could be an ending, too. Indeed, you did. You were right. There was something familiar about this place, but it's a bit different from what I imagined. Strawberry Cookie, do you feel that way as well? A sense of hint, a sense, a hint of, yes, something in the air, as if butter has aged rather too long. So bitterness, okay. All I can smell is hidden treasure. Now where are they? It's time for the heist of the century. Do not forget why we are here. You may look around, but we must keep our guard up. I do like black raisin cookies. Pretty cool. Hey, you kiddo. Mustard, custard, whatever your name is. Here's a red carpet, just like the one you're always chanting on about. Well now, it's perfect for a king's grand entrance. An excellent find. Haha. Uh -huh. Look up there. The silhouette in the crimson moon. Are the Wafflebots being created at the top of the castle? Okay, so I just realized that I'm, uh, I didn't actually have audio for this, um, yeah. So, there was probably loop audio, but now there's actual audio from what's going on. I apologize. Um, look up there, the silhouette and the crimson moon. Are the Wafflebots being created at the top of the castle? 
Then I lead the way. Or then lead the way. And if it goes straight into a treasure vault, that'd be great. Well, there we go. I guess we bow now. Yeah, we do apologize pretty badly about the lack of audio. I completely forgot. Sometimes I forget and then I realize, huh, I'm usually interrupted by these cookies' voices like 10,000 times per second. I wonder why that's not happening. That would not be happening because there is no audio. Whatever. I'll create audio of some kind. And then from now on, we should be good. But this is definitely interesting. Yeah, I have a feeling now that Chapter 10 is probably going to be like... Going up the castle, or something to do with the cat. Being in the castle, it's probably gonna- Ooh, dang it, heal, heal, heal. Don't let our heroes die, if our heroes die, we're really in trouble. There we go, and we're fine. Luckily, heroes are really good at healing you from no health to full health very fast. But this is going okay. It's definitely not gonna be easy, but I have a feeling if we give enough tries, we're probably gonna be able to beat Chapter 9. Probably. Maybe, I don't know. This is still a little... It's still iffy, obviously, we did lose once. But, I mean, it's definitely going well. Like, we're doing a good job. It's not like, oh, we're terrified, we'll never win. It's going pretty alright. Not too, too terrific, but pretty good nonetheless. I think we're about to reach the boss, so I'll activate Hope then. Yep, boss time. Hope should help with that, keep us alive. And Lurker's Cookie is just going to melt them all. Or not. He did good damage. He did a good job. I'm again with the damage drop and then dark choco and espresso cookie to finish them off. Going pretty well. Um, I do want to thank you. Say thank you. Yesterday I was like, oh, thank you for 700 subscribers. You guys did incredible yesterday. I think we gained like 14, 15 subscribers in one day, which is absolutely incredible. Definitely working very, very good progress towards our goal of 750 for the end of the month. But then again, that's only a goal. It's not like you can't, you know, go go past it and all. I don't know. That was incredible. Uh, it was an event video for BATTD, Demon's Adventure and Tower Defense, so those usually do better, but still, that's incredible. Thank you for that. Let's keep on going, though, because I have a good feeling about this, and then we might be able to upgrade the clock tower. I might do that off camera, though, because I want this to be more of like, oh, we're battling. I don't really want to worry about building and base stuff today. Later. We can do that later. And by later, I mean probably, like, I don't know, tomorrow, next video. Probably next video we'll do more of that stuff. There's only so far we're going to be able to go in terms of... Oh, that was bad timing. Oh, but boost, we're good. There's only so much we can do in terms of, um, well, continuing on with stage 9. We're going to have to break eventually, probably, to be like, oh, well, I'll wait to take a bit of a break, do some dark mode while I regain some levels. But, you know, with all this level 9 stuff, after all, I just did my whole, like, healer cookie, pure vanilla cookie thing. More theories to come. They definitely provide good opportunities for theories, like, well, progressing through. I'm like, oh, well, hmm, we just learned this in stage 9. So while we wait to be strong enough to progress further in stage 9, we're gonna, um, uh, we are going to beat, um, do some dark mode and theorize about what happened. Don't die, don't die, don't die. That's bad. That did not go well. Double heals. Honestly, a lot of you were telling me, like, oh, this is my team. And I'm like, oh, you have one heal. I'm not gonna lie, my team was worse healing than that before, but in episode 9 for story progression, not necessarily for arena, but for story progression, you definitely need healing. Because story progression's long, it's not gonna be, it's not a single fight, it's multiple fights stacked on top of each other. So, healing's really important in story mode, that's my recommendation for that. If you're struggling with story mode, you might have to look at your team. It's annoying, because obviously higher levels obviously do better, but at the same time, you kind of just need a stronger team. Okay, so that went pretty well. Might crash now, but I think we have some more story to look at. Perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. Are we going to have story? We're probably going to have story. Wait for the quest reward. There we go. It's probably going to be story now. I hate this, because we don't get to see the real background, I think. Maybe this is the background. Some guys, some of you guys, if you know, let me know, because... If this is the wrong background, it bothers me. At least fix this, because it's annoying. I want to see what's actually going on. Hmm. I haven't seen any cookies yet. Perhaps they're preparing a banquet to welcome their king with lots of jellies and fireworks. <laughs> to be fair, though, they do use, the, like, this is their basic background. So maybe this is what they actually use. I don't know. It just bothers me, because it makes me nervous that I'm missing something. I take a visit to a treasure vault over any welcoming party. Something is amiss. It is too quiet. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, yeah. Quit your yapping. Why don't you send a crow to look? You have crows that you can call them. Send them like a search party. Or not. Oh no, search party. That works too. 
but we will keep on going. We'll probably do these next two stages. It'll probably crash again. We'll probably look at the audio or look at the story again. Probably talk about it a bit more and that'll probably be what we do for today. Depends on how long that takes, obviously. Sometimes stuff takes forever. Sometimes it takes like 10 seconds, so you have to wait and see. Uh, da 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 da. No, no, no deaths. Those dudes are way too powerful. The dark chocolate dudes. The dark chocolate or the chocolate ones rather than the vanilla ones, they are way stronger. They just, in like a single hit, took my licorice cookie to like half out. Not good. So a quick update in case you're curious, because I didn't mention a while ago that I was playing Master Mode Seminole Terraria. Actually, I actually think I just said I was playing Terraria, but I was playing Master Mode Seminole. Um, so I struggled for a long time against the mech bosses. Finally beat them, it took forever. It was not easy in the slightest. Um, but I did do it, which is great. Um, definitely going... Oh, no, 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 no. That was way too close. Everyone's way too low health. Oh, save us, save us, save us, save us, save us, save us, save us. Oh, that was, that was, that was a little more wracking. Maybe this makes it more exciting for you, but it just makes it more terrifying for me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. That, that was, that was scary. Very scary. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm ready now. Well, I haven't fought Queen Slime yet, so I have to do Queen Slime. And then I have to fight, um, Plantera, which is gonna be good. I've actually, I, since I'm determined that this is going to be a world I want to do all the achievements in, since I still have quite a few to do, um, I plan, I've removed, I've basically created, um, elevators, which are like a tunnel all the way from the top to the bottom of the world, in order to stop the corruption and hollow from spreading, and it's worked pretty well, but I, one of my corruption biomes, the new one you get in hard mode, uh, is out of control. I was able to lock off the rest of them, including the hollow, but, oh, the hollow. Hallow hollow. I think it's the hallowed. Hollowed. I don't know, whatever. Um, but I'm having difficulty dealing with the last corruption biome because, well, it's spreading underground, which is weird because I thought it was meant to spread more so up on the surface, but it seems to be backwards for me. But anyways, that was just a quick update on Terraria in case you're curious. I know some of you guys liked it when I mentioned that. It's fun. I love Terraria. I've played it way too many times. Way, way too many times. But it's a really fun game, so what am I going to do? Keep going back to it. And what am I thinking about? I'm already thinking about playing it again. That is a cool new robot. New enemies. Hopefully, don't be too powerful. Be like a healer. That would be cool. I think it actually is healing the enemies. Yeah, I think so. That's a cool ability. As long as you don't hurt me and you don't heal them too much, that's cool. I appreciate uniqueness. As long as it doesn't end up being uniqueness, that makes me lose. I don't really appreciate that. Are you gonna die yet, dudes? I don't want to activate any abilities on you. I don't want to waste them, but I mean, I don't want to sit here waiting forever. Well, I'll activate all the abilities on you three. You three can get wrecked. I'm okay with that. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Going pretty well, though. 9 10. We're making our way through episode 9, even if it's incredibly, incredibly slowly. It will happen. I'm determined about that much. Dark Choco's dead. We're totally losing Dark Choco. How is Dark Choco still alive? How? Oh my god. That was so intense. Did you see that? I don't know, I'm just looking at Dark Choco's health, and, like, he was down to zero, he was going up again, it was zero again, it was going up again, that was... If we lost Dark Choco, we would've been done, we're still way too early on in stage. I think we're at the boss now, but still. If that actually happened, we would've been done for, like, we stood no chance. That was dumb, I just unsynced them. You don't want them synced, rather, you want them spread out, so you can have heals without having to... With having one as a backup in case you heal and then take a ton of damage. But somehow we managed to survive that. I played that well, I guess. Maybe you got lucky. I honestly have no idea. But we did win. We won somehow. So that's good enough for me. That was tight. The one good thing. We're finally actually having challenges in story mode. So we actually do get to see, like, the struggle. The actual strategies evolving. As I actually learn what I have to do to, you know, not die. It's pretty great. I actually like it quite a bit. It's nice. To have a challenge, but a challenge that you can beat without much problem. That may sound counterintuitive, but to have a challenge that's difficult, but still very easily doable, is really great. I like those, when they're a little challenging, but they're not too challenging that you get stuck. Perfect challenge. Our story is here, as expected. The cobble tiles are very ornate. 
fashioned into honeycomb shapes. And those houses, amazing. Is Wizard Cookie an architect? Like, he never draw. he wasn't talking about the Blueberry Yogurt Academy, but oh, the Vanilla Kingdom, it's architecture, it's, it's amazing. I do like how they're mentioning like honeycomb and chocolate breaks and all that stuff, though. I find that funny. Wizard Cookie, I told you to keep your eyes open. Gah! Tread lightly. These tiles you admire so much are breaking away. Upon closer inspection, it doesn't seem to have worn away due to time. Maybe they were damaged during the Dark Flower War. What do you mean? That war ended a long time ago. It was generations ago, yes. But maybe there weren't any cookies to fix these roads since then. Perhaps they fled from Dark Enchantress Cookie. Dark Enchantress Cookie! The crime she committed! He's totally pure vanilla. We can't just leave this place like this. Let's fix up the holes in the road. And I'm pretty sure it is a he, since the voice... You can sort of tell, not easily, but I'm pretty sure it's a he. Fix up the holes. Well, you know what's so much for that? We're not going back there. Hey, level 38, max level cookies, 56. Will that ever happen or matter? No. We're not going to be at level 56 for a long time. But you know what? Let's upgrade our clock tower to max level. Do we skip it? Oh, it's only an hour. Yeah, I'll skip it for you guys. Something interesting. I have so many of those. Max level clock tower. Tick tock clock tower. Well, that was pretty good. Very interesting. I'm not going to lie. The stuff that's going on here. We have very, very interesting thing. I really need to just fix my kingdom. I'm, I'm determined I'm going to do that soon. I'm actually going to do some work. I'm going to be like, you know what? We're going to work on upgrading the kingdom. That's what I'm going to do. Or move, making the kingdom look slightly nice. I want to do that. Maybe that'll be an episode all on its own. Who knows? Mini flip. Just decorating the kingdom. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this might have been a bit shorter. I honestly don't know. But please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Happy Mother's Day. Um, subscribe and join the channel if you're new. Go to Pope Elephant Squad. It makes my day it's super nice. I really do appreciate it. And we're doing very well so far. I would love to keep that going. We're getting closer to that 1,000 number. It'll happen one day. And with your help, maybe one day soon. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!